Tuesday. Tuesday. She's fine. Can I hold her? Okay, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. No obvious fractures. Any nausea? Um. Oh. Only when I shake my head. Guy, I told her she should stay in overnight. Uh, yeah, look, we'll come back when it's not so busy. Just not hungry. Is your head still hurting? Yeah, a little bit. I think I might go back to bed and try and sleep it off. Guy! Sure, it's your wake Tuesday. Oh, help me. Kevin, what is it? Just tell him to hurry. She's arrested. Come, don't do this to us, please. Come. I love you. I love you so much. Oh, please. No. Come. No. It's all right, hon. Mommy's gonna be okay, honey. was a long time ago. Steve, we better try and get her out. But Sam, we're Sammy. What does this say? That was two years ago, Kirsty. What? I don't understand. A truck smashed through reception last night. You were there. A truck? You got a knock on your head. It's, uh, it's muddled things up for you. I don't remember a truck. Why don't I remember? What's wrong with me? Here we go, cup of tea for Put you. that boy away. Dolly doesn't like him. Come on now, drink your tea. But mind, it's hot now. Um, tell you what, why don't you give Dolly to Grace? She'll take care of her. I'll get her juice, shall I? And you can drink your tea. You fancy another biscuit, Muriel? All homemade, with only the highest quality ingredients. Now, you will stay for our Christmas lunch today, won't you? Come on, ma'am. Let's get out of here. Oh, thanks again, Rangi, for the turkey. Uh -huh. Lionel. How is she? Awake. Yes. Is she still a bit confused? Oh, I could kiss you. Um, put the turkey on a slow oven for five hours and in an oven bag. Oh. And don't forget to put a hole in it. Merry Christmas, Marilyn. I'm just glad I'm alive. You're overdoing the festive spirit, have we? If you call a 12-ton truck crashing through reception festive, I... I guess I am. Sorry? You won't believe the night I've had, Jen. You really won't. You're not serious. About the truck. Straight through reception, collecting everything in its path. It stopped inches from the desk. And me. Oh, my God. Was anyone hurt? One fatality, no one we know. Praise be. I need a drink. Oh. Was a Marge there? Yep. Yeah, she was right next to me. Yeah, she's fine, but... Laurie's had to be dashed to central. Is he all right? Apparently he's got a collapsed lung. Poor James Thornton had to be dragged out from underneath a dead body. Kirsty's in a coma. What? Carmen's the lucky one. She escaped with just a bump to the head. I'd better ring Marge. I think she'll still be with Laurie. I, I did suggest that Lulu come over. I hope you don't mind. Marge, how's Laurie? Uh, sorry he's missing out on the path. Oh, sounds like he's on the road to recovery already. And Kirsty is back with us. Oh, thank oh. goodness. And Rebecca, bright as a button when I popped in to see her. Mm, all we can do to keep her in bed. <laughs> yeah, well, it's been an ordeal, but we've got a lot to be Straight and straight. Theatre thought Five we'd be cheered to know. Receiving. Truck driver friend has been transferred to HDU and is in a stable condition. Mm. I wouldn't describe Ted Combs as stable in any condition. And on that happy note, Merry Christmas to one and all. Merry Christmas. Received. Eat up, folks. This could be our last for a while. We've got a status for collapse due any second. Can you check resources ready? Guy, what are you doing? Carmen. What happened? Don't Don't answer me, please. Kirsty. Oh, 
Seeing they couldn't make it, so he, he asked me to give you this. Um, thanks, I didn't get you anything. <laughs> Knowing you're all right is gift enough for me. Mm, it's okay, everything's gonna be sweet. <laughs> How could you say that, Steve Tippett? Uh, and we'll never forget them, but, uh, man, that was a long time ago. I know, so you all keep saying, but I feel like it happened yesterday. Hey, hey, don't cry. <laughs> we'll get this sorted, I promise. I hope you like roast veggies. Oh, there's always a ham. No, there isn't. Hey? If you remember, we decided that a 20-pound turkey was enough to satisfy even your flesh-eating requirements. You mean there's no meat? Not a bone. Not even a tin of corned beef? Sorry. Got it sussed. The cops are pretty relaxed about it. For cops. Well, I'm not. Oh, come on, she's back safe now. That's not the point. You should never have lost her in the first place. Well, I said I was sorry. That doesn't automatically mean you're forgiven. But I was... She just... could have been dead now because of you. It won't happen again. You're right there, because you're out of my life and out of this flat as of now. What? You heard me, Nick. I never want to see you again. Do we uh, know what it was yet? We'll have to wait for the autopsy, but uh, it looks like it must have been an undetected aneurysm. Guy, why don't I take Tuesday for a bit, give you a rest? No. Well, let's go to the staff room, then it's quieter there. I rang Vic at the rest time. He's out for a few hours. Oh, damn. They're having lunch somewhere. I left the clinic phone number and your home one. Told them it was urgent. Oh, thanks for trying. Did you contact Margot in Christchurch? She'll be on the next available flight. Good. I had... I doubt she'll be here before tomorrow, though. The seats are pretty chocker. You all right? Well, I guess I have to be. Get him home. I'll be there as soon as I can. I'll try. I think she's really hungry. How about you let Ellen take Tuesday, just for a while? She needs a feed and a sleep, mate. She'll take care of her. She's gone, Chris. She's gone. She's gone. Some years he wouldn't be there for Christmas. They were the best. No fights. Mum used to tell us he was on the road, but I knew he stretched out in some gutter somewhere. Kind of like my dad, in a way. We're not so different after all. Hi. Oh, James. I guess you've heard the news then. I told you it was a psycho killer. Had he no one else believed you? Yeah, they'll blame me for it now. No, they can't. Those lies I told about him, it probably sent him ape. Don't you even think such thoughts? But it's true. He was behind that wheel and nobody else. Yeah, but I pushed him. You did what you had to to protect yourself. The cops reckon that's crap, though. He made the decision to kill innocent people, and nothing justifies that. If they'd listened to you from the start, he'd be locked up. Exactly, and this tragedy would never have happened. I suppose. Believe it. Anyway, it's their problem now, not yours. So, who's going to help me peel the smuts? Leg. Yes, I know you've told me. I'm making sure you don't give it to none of them dirty layabouts. Get off, you filthy beggars! Yes. Will you be patient, everyone, please? I've only got two hands. Perhaps you'd like two more. Oh, Julia, I'm going crazy. Oh, she's pushing in. What can I do? Uh, either conjure me up another dozen drumsticks or call the riot squad. Oh, darling, I am the riot squad. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please form an orderly queue? There's only one way to quell this rabble, get serving. I hope that's not lunch I can smell. A dinner guest. <gasps> well, call me ungrateful, but why are you here? I could ask you the same thing. I've already told you, penance. Your excuse? I'm desperate for human company. Hammond <laughs> would kill me if I ever lost Tuesday. Look, Nick, women have had to forgive their men for a lot worse than what you've done. Give her a moment of time. She'll come round. Look, more than enough misery round here. 
Time for some crissy cheer. Yeah, what happened to that wine? Coming right up. Merry Christmas. We're almost given up on you. Something's wrong. I'm afraid so. It's not Laurie, is it? No, he's fine. I'm afraid I've got some very bad news. Carmen passed away this morning. If I eat another vegetable, I think I'm going to start looking like one. <laughs> you already act like one. <laughs> well, I thought your nutlife was scrummy. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Thank you, ladies. I didn't think I did too badly under the circumstances. Mm -hmm. Would have been quicker to put a jar of peanut butter on the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Hey, I am your average Kiwi, meat and three veggie kind of bloke, and proud of it. What about you, Harry? You're meathead as well? Well, I'm not sure I want to answer that. Oh, you chicken. The rest of golden brown so tender the flesh falls off the bone. No, stop it, please. I'll get dessert, shall I? Ah, uh, nothing, thanks. I thought I'd just do a quick dash over to the clinic. You know, this is a bar. You don't know when to give up, do you? Hey, Kirsty's my friend, and as such, I want to be there for her. Of course you do. Choice feed, though, Rich. Leave the dishes, I'll do it when I get back. Yeah, sure. Hey, uh, Harry, if you happen to come across an open dairy, grab us a sausage, would you, mate? I don't like your chances, mate. I could have been up north, pulling up the honey, watching the roasting pig on the spit. Well, I know one little piggy I'd love to see fried. You serious? Deadly. Can I get you something, love? How's Marilyn? Lying down. I've made the tea. Where's Nick? He's outside, I think, having a quiet cry. Are you okay? I think I'll go and check on Nick. He killed her. It was an accident, love. She was my friend and he's taken her away. Try not to think about that man. I'm trying not to. <laughs> Dominic's father. I hate him. I hate her. It's not a time for hatred, love. Got to think about Carmen. What a special person she was. And how lucky we are. He murdered her. He's the one that should be dead. That's all I could find in the storeroom. I just pray she takes it. My poor wee girl. Oh, damn, I'm going to start crying again. Please don't. I've got to keep myself together here. <laughs> Is there anything else I can do? I'm gonna go to the Tōrua and pick up Tuesday stuff. If there is any trouble with Tuesday, just give me a ring, no matter what time, all right? Thanks. Uh, I'd better get moving. Take care. I will. You're heading off to Chris's? Mm. If there's anything I can do. I'll pass it on. You planning on going home at all? Um, yeah, to Dominique and Carla. I should have rung. No time. I haven't stopped either. 18 hours of hell. And it hasn't even started for Guy yet. Yeah. Oh, hell, I wish money was here. Is it okay to visit? Grab a seat. How is she? Wow, she's come around finally. That's good. Still a bit confused though. It's probably concussion. It does that. Did you um hear about Carmen? I saw Tiffany on the way through. I can't believe it. I keep thinking. Could have been me. Guy's world has collapsed. And all I can feel is relief that it wasn't my princess. 
some free and day. Have you told Kirsty yet? Nah. She's been sleeping heaps. But mate, no way am I leaving her. Not for nothing. You still here? Yep. You've been here all this time? Pretty much. You don't have to, you know. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Don't you have a home to go to? <laughs> you are. You gave us quite a fright. Did I? Yeah, but um, we'll forgive you. Merry Christmas. I'm sorry, but do I know you? Nick's a dropkick, but he still deserves the truth. It is the truth. So you're telling me that Johnny doesn't feature in this equation? Hey! What are you doing with that? This little piggy's going wee 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 all the way to the oven. You're not going to eat it, are you? No, I thought I'd sing at Christmas carols. Oh, no, you're not. Well, I guess we'll just have to eat it then. No way! Oh, but it'll be yummy. Pre stuff with the cure truffles. Yeah. Now, where'd I just put that sharp knife? Yeah. <laughs> I suppose I'd better do the deed out back, huh? But, Rangi, you don't have to take the joke that far. Well, who's joking? I thought you were. Well, that shows how well you know me. If you kill that poor little creature, you're out of here. But it's just a pig. It's me or roast pork. <laughs> What's it going to be, right? I suppose I'll be over the Christmases. Here! Piggy, 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 piggy! Oh, God. They don't have kids. They all walk out on you in the end. So I'm bleeding all over the place, and they can't tell whether I'm faking or not. Because you've faked it so many times, right? Right. <laughs> Hi, Mum. James, Dominique. Here's a good one of making messes of the clinic, eh? Not to mention the mess he's made of my Christmas day. Oh, yeah, Merry Christmas. It's a bit late for that, darling. We had plans, remember? Well, I tried ringing, but there was no answer. How many times did you try? Well, I was so wired about surviving the crash, I had to get out and celebrate. No thought for me mm. at all? You went around. So you chose to spend the day with a person who's caused all the grief in the first place? Don't you dare try and blame Dominic for what happened. I will blame whoever I damn well see fit. Yeah? Well, we don't have to hang around and listen to it. What about your present? You can stick it. Be hungry. This is so unfair. Do you want me to have a go? No, I want to do it. I'm just trying to fathom how Guy's going to cope with all of this. I don't know if he will. Remember how he went to pieces when Carmen was quarantined? I think Tuesday will keep him going. Yeah, if he's strong enough to cope. You sound like your father. Pardon? Have more faith in him, Chris. I do have faith in him, but I know my brother. Well, I think he'll prove you both wrong. I hope you're right. <laughs> you don't want to wake Daddy. Come on. Come on, sweetie. I doubt she will. I slipped him a light sedative last night. <laughs> Come on. Come on, sweetie. Tuesday? It's okay, she's right here. There you go, pumpkin. Is she all right? A night on the town hasn't done it any harm. Yeah. I guess I knew that. You just wanted to make sure. I wanted to see you. Please, Ramona, don't do this. Look, when Jenny rang us about Carmen, I had to see you. We're all upset. This isn't the best time to be talking about things. I know how I feel, Johnny. That hasn't changed. When we kissed, it shouldn't have happened. But it did. And I want to be honest about it. It's just that things... I know you don't want to hurt Nick. It's taken me a long time to win back his respect. I'm not about to throw it away again. And I think that's very decent of you. But Nick and I are over. Because of Lucy? Oh, partly. But I should never let it develop like it did. I want to be with you. No can do. Uh, why not? It's my New Year's resolution not to be a relationship breaker. But there is no relationship. Whatever way you look at it, that is exactly what I'd be. I'm sorry. I wish it could have been different. 
You know how difficult it is to find a tradesman on a public holiday, but all our facilities are fully functional and we're hoping to get back to normal in no time. Well, goodness, it's quite busy for first thing. You know, the only thing wrong with most of this lot is a morbid curiosity. Rubber knickers, you mean? How sick. I didn't expect you in today, Marilyn. Uh, well, we've all got to rally, haven't we? Life goes on. True. Lulu, how is she? Not too good. Oh, poor we might. Still, I suppose you and Laurie will see her through. Yes. You are a lucky woman, Marge. You still have your little family. Well, you've got Jenny and Nick, Marilyn. Yes, I, I know. But not that special someone to have and hold. At a time like this, you really feel it. I'm sure. Here I am, bleating on, when I think of poor Guy and that little motherless child. Oh, another rubbernecker. Can't tell me that boy's sick in the pink. Greg, may I offer you our sincere condolences? The entire clinic is totally devastated by what's happened. Just tell me where my sister is, eh? What do you mean, Cam is dead? After the accident. But she wasn't even in the car. No, you're getting confused again, Princess. <laughs> Stop calling me that. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, the truck killed her. The same one that gave you your injuries. Oh, how come I don't remember any of it? Well, Grace says that you will. Grace, who? Who's Grace? You must remember her, Dr. Kwan. <laughs> Look, I know this is all incredibly confusing for you, Princess, but all you have to remember is that I'm here for you. What do you mean? I love you. You love me? You're Lena's weird friend, not my boyfriend. No, no, I'm your husband. What? No, no, no take it easy. Take it easy. Oh. Maxine! You shouldn't be out of bed. Kirsty! Greg, Greg, you're gonna help me. Hey, long time no see. Please take me home. It's so crazy. What about him? 